Hello, fellow library lover, and welcome to yet another webinar in which we'll discuss an online database in detail. Today we'll be discussing biography and context, and the vendor of that is Gale slash Cengage. Hello, my name is Stuart Schaefer, and I'm the head of the reference department at the Farmingdale Pub Public Library. And if you need my contact information, it is as follows. My phone number is 516-249-9090, extension 203. My email address is fdaleref at nasolibrary.org. And when you need to get to the library's website, just point your browser to www.farmingdalelibrary.org. So today we're gonna to be talking about um, uh, biography and context, which is a Gale uh, database. And basically it kind of sounds like what it does. Um, you're gonna be able to find all sorts of wonderful biographical information for uh, people that you're interested in looking at. Um, you will need your library card and your barcode on the back of it to access biography and context. Um, it has over a million historical and current biographies and it's really, really comprehensive information. There's full text images, full text information there. Images are included and some videos. Um, as you notice, you'll see my screen, I'm sharing it. And I'm just gonna scroll down. And this is a very basic outline of what I'd like to cover today at this presentation. We're gonna just give you a basic background of the, uh, of the resource. We're gonna do a couple of searches. We're gonna um, learn about how to search and uh, we're gonna continue um, getting information about those, the people, content, and uh, we'll point out the news articles that you could find or the videos or the academic journals. And we're also gonna find out how we can filter your results. And we're going to uh, figure out how to sort by relevance. But uh, that all said, I'd like to share my screen again. And we are going to go to the library website, which again is at farmingdalelibrary.org. Now, how do you get to, uh, send to biography and context from this homepage? We're gonna click on research, and then we're gonna click on electronic resources by subject a new menu appears and we're gonna scroll down to <clears throat> the reference resources at the very bottom, all the way down here where my mouse is. I'm gonna click on reference and lo and behold, we have a list of our reference resources. The first of which is Gale in Context Biographies. So we're gonna click on that link and since I actually did the search about a half hour ago, I don't need to actually log in uh, using my library card because of the cache um, C-A-C-H-E that uh, basically the computer remembers what I searched. So um, this is the homepage for Gale and Context Biography. And um, there's a fair amount of, of information appearing here. We're gonna start with uh, doing a search in this bar right here, which um, it says search and there's an, uh, an hourglass. We're gonna click on that eventually. But my first search is, you might've guessed is Abraham Lincoln. Now, if you notice, autofill is the default here. In other words, I typed in Abraham, but it fills in a whole bunch of Abrahams, including Abraham Maslow, Lincoln, John Abraham, Abraham Spencer, and a whole bunch of others. We're gonna click on the president, Abraham Lincoln. And at the top of this page, we have a brief overview on the left side. And then we have some quick facts about him on the right side, when he was born, when he was died, his occupation, other occupations, nationality, other names that he went by, and, uh, his gender. <clears throat> um, if you wanted to, you can click on read more <coughs> over here. It's a, an overview and uh, it's quite a nice overview. 
we're going to scroll down and I'm going to explain all of this, what's happening on the page. But basically, this is a very, very concise biography of him talking about him, his presidency, the Civil War, his legacy. And then at the bottom, we have further readings right over here, which I just highlighted, and you should be able to see on your screen. And um, at the bottom of the page, this is wonderful for students, but we have a source citation. Let's say you're doing a term paper for uh, an 11th grade or 12th grade or whatever grade you're in. You can uh, create a source citation based on which format you're using. The one that's showing right now is the MLA 8th edition. If we were interested in the APA, which is the American Psychological Association, uh, sixth edition, I just click on that. And this is what the new source citation looks like. And if we were interested in the Chicago Manual of Style, the 17th edition, that's what it appears, how it appears. The, your student would be able to cut and paste it and plop it right into the end notes or the footnotes or the bibliography of the term paper. I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the page. And I would like to point out that you can change the font size, you can make it bigger. The bigger it is, the font, the less you have on the page. The smaller it is, the more you have on the page. If you click listen, someone would actually read it out to you, the article. You can save it to Google Drive. You can email it, and you can actually download it with this icon right over here. The one to the left of it is to email it. I'm going to click on that. So I would email it to my email address, whatever it is, at. And then you do the same thing from S, my email address, whatever it is. And you type a message, um, article from Gail in context, biography. And then you just click send. You have the option to send it as either full text or a citation. The citation is basically just the author and the title of the article, the date of the article, and the uh, publication, where it came from, what date it was published. Uh, it's basically just some narrative information. In many cases, you'll want to print out or send, excuse me, the full text of the, op of the article. So I'm going to cancel that since I just explained it. And on the right side over here, you can explore. You can find more articles like this one. This first one is titled, How Lincoln Grew During His Wilderness Years into a Politically Savvy Statesman. The next article is from Library Journal, Lincoln 150 Years On. And then another one, Lincoln the Politician from Washington Monthly, just about uh, probably five or six months ago, September, October 2019. And if I click on view all related articles, I, it scrolls to the bottom of the page and you have other articles. Most of them are current, um, 2017, this last one, 2014, and some others that are, I'll be generous, they're older from 2001 or 1986 from the New York Times. That could actually be interesting. In any event, the one other thing I wanted to show you over here is, this is a, a related subject to Abraham Lincoln over here. It would probably come up with the same results as, I'm gonna go back, and these results. And this is actually when the article, when the, uh, when the database gets really, really comprehensive and uh, very helpful for students. I scroll down from the overview and the quick facts part of the page, and I'm just about halfway down or a little less. On this page, we have featured content, which is right over here. We have a list of biographies. There are 10 of them, that's over here. And then these links over here will take you further down in this page. There are 22 videos, 46 academic journals, two reference sources, two audio clips, one website. The interesting thing again is the magazines. There are 589 magazines. Let's just look at a few of them. 
So this is the first bunch of articles, of magazines, excuse me. They were sorted by re relevance, the most relevant, the most useful articles based on um, the Gale, the biography and context methodology, which makes an article appear when it's more useful, when it's similar to what we searched for. If you aren't satisfied with that, you can change it from relevance to the newest article first or by content level. And I'm gonna to get to that in a second. But uh, this first article is titled, McClellan's Supply Crisis, Were Supplies Deliberately Withheld from the Army of the Potomac After Antietam, a very famous battle in the, the Civil War. So this was written by some historian, Stephen Stolmeyer, and um, it was from 20, June 2020 which uh, that's interesting. How did that appear when we're not even up to that? Let's click on it. And there you go, this is the article. So there's a picture of Abraham Lincoln and um, it's from a magazine called Civil War Times, volume 59, issue three. Um, the length of the article is 33,000 words. The lexile measure is a way to measure the content of an article um, based for, for students in uh, anywhere probably from like sixth grade up to 12th grade. The higher the number, the more advanced, the more sophisticated, the more complicated the article. Um, I've seen articles up to 11 of 14, 1500, um, but this one is probably very, sophisticated. This is the text of the article. And I'm just scrolling down. You can see it has pictures and color. And this is the end of the article. Again, we have the source citation, which I mentioned before. And um, we're going to scroll back up. And if you wanted to, you could use your browser, or actually, I'm sorry, at the top of the page over here, just to the above the word withheld, you have the print option. I'm gonna click on that, and I would click on print, and then it would go to my local printer. <clears throat> so you can click on ex um, some under the Explore option over here, more like this article, Civil War Scholar, Carnage, general discord. And then if you scroll further, there are related subjects, um, which kind of makes sense. One of the subjects would be Civil War, the Battle of Antietam, Henry Halleck, which I think he was a, uh, a general, and again, Abraham Lincoln, since he's the subject. I scroll back up to the top of the page, and you can kind of see the uh, how we searched. We were at the Gale and Context Biography homepage. We searched for Abraham Lincoln. We looked in magazines, and then we searched for a document, which is the one we're looking at. So we looked at the magazines. I would like to look under biographies since we're in a biography database. And something that's really, really helpful for students and adults who, or who are finding, trying to find out more about a particular person we have 10 biographies here, but it's not just the same old, same old. The first one is from the Encyclopedia of World Biography Online. The second one is from Historic World Leaders. The third one is from the World of Invention. The fourth one is from the Encyclopedia of American Constitution. So these are all edited and written by different people, and you'll get different contexts, different slants, different viewpoints of, uh, of Abraham Lincoln's biography. It'll give the basic information, but it might, um, might be an interesting way to, way to compare and contrast um, a person's biography and their history. I'm gonna click on the first one, the Encyclopedia of World Biography Online. And Lincoln's background is the first kind of heading entering public life, national politics, war on the horizon, 
a Republican leader, the 16th president, the Civil War, and his legacy. So what else can I show you? Um, I'm going to do another search. Let's do an advanced search, excuse me. So I'm at the top of the page, and this is our search bar. Just to the right of the magnifying glass is the word advanced search, or the words advanced search. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to search for Willie Mays, the uh, San Francisco Giants and uh, the New York Giants center fielder in the 1950s and 60s. I'm going to click on keyword, and uh, you have the option to either put in a keyword or an author or a subject, or you could have this database search for the entire document. You can search by place names or names of work or a company name, but I'm just going to keep it keyword and then I'm going to do a search for and baseball. Yes, my typing was not so good there. And I'm just going to click on search. So it looks like there are 36 biographies, 152 magazine articles, 12 images, 489 news articles, two videos, two academic journals, and nine audios. Um, let's just look at the images to see what they're like. There you go. That's Willie Mays. And I just want to click on the magazines just to sort of show you a little more. The first one is from Jet Magazine and the second and the third. The next one is Say Hey, Who's the Best from Boy's Life. A whole bunch from Jet Magazine. The Sporting News, American Heritage, Smithsonian, The Sporting News, and so on. Book list, Crane's New York Business. My point here is to show you that it's not just the same old uh, basic biography reference books. Um, it's a wide variety, and you'll get a nice uh, smattering. You get a nice, comprehensive view of his life or her life, if it's a, if it's a she. So on the right side, you can filter your results by publication date. If you're interested in finding articles biographies from, let's say, um, 19, 2000, 2009 to 2020. Let's try that. I'm going to do 01, 09, 01, 2009. I just want to basically just do a sort, and I'm going to apply it. So we filtered it basically by that date, January 1st, 2009 to April 21st, 2020, which is today. And we went from 152 magazine articles to 40. So we narrowed it down extensively, something on the order of like 75%, which is really great. That means you won't be searching for articles uh, and wasting your time if, uh, if you're looking for articles that, are, that you want if you're looking for new articles is what I'm trying to say, excuse me. So um, at the top right part of the page, again, you can search, you can filter your results by subject or by document type or publication title. By Lexile measure, you can turn on and off the full text document option. If you're not, if you're looking for articles that are not just full text, you'll find either sometimes just a citation, which is what hap is happening in this case over here, or you will find an article with the full text. In other words, if you're just looking for full text, click on this box over here where it says full text documents. If you don't, then you might get just a citation or just an abstract, or if you're lucky, you'll get a full text article. But in general, you'll probably want full text since you want to read the whole thing. You can um, narrow it down by subjects. So I narrowed the search down by subject. And this is pretty extensive. 
I don't know why some of these are here, but you can search by professional baseball or Willie Mays, the life and the legend, um, some other ways to narrow it down. And um, one other thing I did want to show you is at the top right side of the page under um, search history, I'm going to click on that. And this is going to pull up all the searches that we did since we started tonight. The first search, I'm sorry, it's just the Willie Mays searches. It doesn't include the Abraham Lincoln searches, but um, it went in uh, the newest one is at, top, at the top, then the middle one, and then the uh, oldest one. And we did advanced searches for keywords of Willie Mays and baseball. Then we did keyword Willie Mays and baseball and limited by full text and that date filtering that we did. And then I revised it up here. That's what this is showing. Um, at the top right side of the page, you can browse people, which is another feature. This is just um, a list of people a very extensive list of people, alphabetical. Let me show you. So the letter A is over here. And if you look at your vertical scroll bar all the way on the right, see how small it is? This is actually an alphabetical list of all the people they talk about that they cover in this very large database. However, instead of scrolling like that, you can click on the bar just to the right of the word topics right over here. You can click on this triangle. And if you wanted to, you can click on actors or American vice presidents or artists. You can scroll down. You could find filmmakers. Let's do that. And um, let's look for Robert Altman. He's a filmmaker that I've heard of. And it says so right here. Click on that. And basically now you're back to the similar format of the Abraham Lincoln um, bibliography, excuse me, biography that we looked at, or the Willie Mays biography. It's the same format, same interface, where we have the featured content and biographies. We have reference, images, magazines, news, and I'm just scrolling down. It's a very, very user-friendly interface. The more you use it, the more comfortable you'll be with it and the better your searches will be. You'll be able to just do boom, boom, boom and get your search done, get your article, get your information and uh, you'll be on your way. So I hope you enjoyed this, article, this um, webinar. I plan on doing many more of these. Um, we will be posting them on the library website which is at farmingdellibrary.org. Under our database page, we'll have an archive there. We'll also be publishing them on our Farmingdale Library YouTube channel. Um, just do a search on YouTube for Farmingdale Public Library, and you'll be able to revisit this uh, webinar at your leisure. And um, again, thank you for coming, and um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please email me at fdaleref at nasolibrary.org. And I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Take care. Have a great night.